fundamentally, we've all been taught in school, right, you know, that there's theory and experiment, right? So you have some idea, you have a theory, you've got evidence to support it, and you do an experiment to test it. Simulation provides really a third pillar in that scientific discovery path. Simulation is crucial to understanding things that we can't do otherwise and to enhancing experiment. And one way you can think about this is a car, right? You want the safest car possible, but it costs a lot of money to do crash tests when they're designing cars. Well, what happens instead if instead of having to do 10 crash tests that are really expensive, car designers can do thousands of crash tests in, in, in huge numbers of different scenarios to design a safer car? Leading in science is a huge advantage for a country. It helps our industry, it helps our economy, it helps almost every aspect of life, even things that people don't necessarily expect. And this is one of the most powerful tools we have today for scientific discovery. It's not the only one. I think one good example is with the Advanced Photon Source, right? That there's an amazing amount of work that's done at the Advanced Photon Source, and we have an amazing opportunity to bring together a huge, national experimental facility with a national simulation facility and come up with some incredible advances from doing that. But similarly, I mean, Argonne is also an incredible leader in science research and in, in material science and chemistry and physics. We engage with a wide, wide variety of other researchers at the lab.